Hello everybody, today I am looking at the matchstick house again. Last video I was talking about my floor plate and I was saying that I thought uh, this would be big enough and I wasn't going to actually uh, use the full dimensions of the uh, paper blueprint over there that I had made. Um, and then after coming up with a ratio of uh, uh, scale sizing, uh, I decided that was a stupid idea. So in this video I'm going to, uh, I, I believe I'll make a second floor plate and maybe some walls. So I talked about a, a blog post last video about how to do a panel without it bowing. I just made a video of how to make this, uh, showing you how to make the support so it doesn't bow. That is uh, going up soon, so I'll put a link uh, here-ish. Uh, the camera's upside down, so it's weird. All right, it's all painted up, dried, looking pretty awesome. Uh, I like it, fits pretty snug, nice good fit. Okay, so I built another section of flooring. This goes over here. Oh, oh. This goes over here in this section of the floor, which will be just off the kitchen. What this is is it's a, a root cellar hatch. It's got a, a piece of old rope pull handle. All that is is uh, some sewing thread. I passed through a hole that I drilled with a tiny little drill bit and then I glued that in and I took a, a, a scalpel I cut all the little loops on it, kind of frayed it up, it's got some wood glue so it's stiff these are the same kind of matches used for the shingles uh, matchbook matches and I just took a razor blade and kind of thinned them down split them because they were pretty prominent and then the uh, the rounded bit of the hatch that the pin goes through is just a, a piece of the match, uh, a match that it's splintered, kind of split. Uh, it was laying on my desk. Figured try, I'd try and use that, and it worked out fantastically in my opinion. I painted that up, gave it some oxidation, and uh, yeah, I really, I really like that. I made the door run this way with. Uh, the tiny matches that go out of that box. So there's kind of a lip here because they're a little bit thinner. So I really like that. Plus with uh, running them uh, horizontal. Well, these will be vertical when it's set in the house against uh, the, the horizontal ones. It really sets it apart. And uh, I kind of painted it a little bit lighter than the rest uh, to make it more distinguished. Okay, so I'm building the last section of this floor here. Went ahead and did a puzzle piece kind of thing. Fits in there like that, just over this last hump. Fits nicely. I didn't do that for the the uh, root cellar. It just kind of fits in there, so I didn't need to. Uh, I may regret that later, but oh well. Anyway, if you'll notice the supports are running horizontal instead of vertical like the rest of the room. That's because I'm going to have the, the planking running vertically and I just want that to feel like the room uh, the flow of the room is going this way so that's uh, why I'm doing that uh, I don't need supports for structure to stop this from bowing I simply put those in there so I had something to uh, glue my matches to okay everybody I got the first floor finished uh, it took 572 matches to make this not including the, uh, I don't think I included the door on this, but that's whatever. Anyway, it's done. I think I'm going to leave these gaps here so I can uh, insert a wall into it instead of like connecting these uh, pieces together. So yeah, I, uh, I like it so far. Okay, everybody, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh before I start anything else otherwise it's gonna get too long uh, so kind of boring just doing some floor work now that I got the flooring done you can kind of see the floor print kind of how big the house is gonna be and then uh, yeah I can just move on from here so I'm pretty excited about this uh, I've already started some stuff for the kitchen uh, I'll show that in the next video and uh, hopefully this gets moving a little bit faster and then uh, 
I don't know if the, the second floor is going to be the same size as this. I may cut it back a little bit. Who knows? Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like this, uh, you should su subscribe. I'm trying to get this done. And I have some other ideas for some projects after this one. So hopefully that gets underway. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.